Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week I wanted to continue the idea that I started last week. Um, I talked about beginner's luck, but I wanted to kind of move forward on that beyond just being a beginner and being uh, an intermediate or experienced uh, artist and continuing to have that feeling of beginner's luck. And I feel that a lot of that comes down to knowing but ignoring the rules or the theory related to the craft that you're working on. Um, And I think that this has really two main positive benefits. The first one being that it gives you um, an out if you get stuck. So if you are working on something and you get, uh, you paint yourself into a corner creatively, this gives you a way to kind of revert back to a stable position where like in music theory you you know the chord progressions that'll bring you back to to, to the tonic to home um and in visual visual art if if something kind of starts to look like a mess that it allows you to move the layers around or adjust the colors to the point where things feel balanced again um excuse me and the second thing is that it allows your work to be more interesting. I feel very strongly that art in general is interesting because of how it breaks the constructed rules around it. And if you know how to break those rules in ways that still conform to the guidelines in theory, it, it makes your work more interesting. It, it w- makes it stand out in, in ways that aren't necessarily, um, apparent um because i think that it's really interesting i and obviously this again goes back to music for me but i think that it's very interesting that people can listen to a song and they can hear an interesting chord change or a a melody that that strays outside of the boundaries of its scale and they can hear that and not understand why or what it's doing, but they can also understand that something happened and it worked to elevate the music beyond just where it was before. And I think that that's the, really the main reason why knowing the rules, but also knowing when to ignore them is, is so very, very valuable. And I think that it's something that you should work on in your own creative endeavors where, first of all, if you don't know the theory, <laughs> go go learn that or at least learn the basics and, and get familiar with how that theory works because that's very important if you get stuck in the second part where, where you learn it and then you ignore it um, because basically just do whatever you can or do whatever you want to make what you're visualizing in your head but if you get stuck then you have that set of rules and guidelines to help you get unstuck again um and i think i mentioned this last week but there's this oh, the furnace just came on <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm recording in the basement right now um i talked last week a little bit about how um it's important to just um learn the rules and then just keep going from that but i lost my train of thought with from the furnace (laughs) so anyway i i think that i kind of covered everything that i wanted to cover for this but it's it's just really uh something to keep in mind when you're working on this stuff because it's so easy to get wrapped up in the idea that i just need to follow the rules and then i'll make good music or good art and that's that's not necessarily the case you'll make art you'll make passable art but you won't make art that's interesting because breaking the rules is is really the the important part of all this so thank you so much for being a patreon subscriber and thank you so much for listening to this podcast i really do appreciate it i hope that you have a good week and i'll talk to you in the next one be remarkable.